Hi, and welcome to the third episode of building a software as a service application with Rails. Today we're going to work on account creation. We are finally going to get our first integration spec passing. Uh, we are going to accomplish this by setting up our routes, creating a welcome controller, creating a accounts controller, and adding appropriate forms and views. Last time we left off with our acceptance test still failing and in this episode we are going to see if we can get it passing. Taking a look at the account creation feature spec, first thing we're going to do is narrow this down a little bit. I want to do this incrementally so we're not going to we're, we're not going to do the user model right now so we'll go ahead and just comment that stuff out. We'll take a look at the routes file. First thing we'll do is clear out all the comments. And I would like to have my initial controller be a welcome controller. So we'll leave this in. Also while we're here, while we're here we'll go ahead and add the account resources for accounts. After that I'm going to go ahead and create a welcome controller and I will define an index action in there. I'm going to create a welcome subdirectory under the views and in that subdirectory I'll create an index file and in here we're just going to link to the new account path. Taking a look at the output of our spec running, I can see that we need an accounts controller, so we can go ahead and implement that. Now we can go ahead and create a accounts controller. We will define a very basic new and create action. And finally, we will, since we are using Rails 4 and strong parameters, we'll have to define an account params method, which permits us to only mass assign the subdomain for now. Next, I am going to create a folder for our accounts views. And inside that folder, I'm going to create a new file for our new action. In here, I'm just going to paste in um, some basic ERB that will create a form for us. Back in the console, we can rerun our specs by pressing enter, and we'll see that it cannot find the signed up successfully flash message. So we'll need to add uh, flash messages to our layout. Side of our application HTML ERB layout. I'm just going to paste in some code that will loop through all of our flash messages and print them out. When we switch back to guard and press enter, we can see that we now have a passing spec. That should be about it for this episode.